Greetings, everyone, from Piedmont Triad International Airport in Greensboro, North Carolina, the home of Carolina Aircraft. Now, Carolina Aircraft is the number one reseller of prime condition Beechcraft Barons and Bonanzas. I'm May Kay Beeler for Carolina Aircraft. I'm a longtime flight instructor, and like you, I love Beechcraft products, especially the Bonanza, and it is my pleasure to share with you today a beautiful 1991A36. She looks gorgeous. Now, she might be a 1991, but her paint is like brand new. Let's take a closer look. I love the horsepower on this A36. Now, this is a Teledyne Continental IO550B, 300 horsepower. About 1,325 hours on the engine since new, and the prop is a Macaulay hot prop. Bonanza 8245 Juliet has about 2,494 hours on the airframe since new. You can see it's equipped with de-ice boots, and the annual was just done, so it's good through February of 2017. Now, what I love about this airplane is the exceptional paint and the paint scheme. Now, as I said before, this is a 1991 model, but I'll tell you what, the paint was redone in 2003. You'd never know it. It looks like it was just done yesterday. It is in beautiful condition. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 9.5, and, and I love the colors. Overall, Matterhorn white with bright blue, bright red, and Air Force gray striping. Talk about classy. You're going to love it. One of the great features of the A36 are the large double cargo doors. Now talk about ease of entry for your passengers. It makes life a whole lot easier. So come on inside, let me show you the interior. We've got tan leather seats, we've got wool carpet, tan sideliners, all in pretty good condition. I like the executive table riding desk here. And the club seating is wonderful, but you know what? If your passengers all prefer to face the front, the seating is reversible. Good afternoon, this is Brian Tuttle with Carolina Aircraft, here today to go over the instrument panel on November 8245 Juliet. Let's have a closer look. November 8245 Juliet has a very nice IFR instrument panel. We'll start up at the top left here. This is a ground communication switch, so we can turn that on and we will be able to hear our number one comm to be able to get our frequency without having to fire everything up, so nice feature there. Um, this is our light for our de-ice boots. This will come on when we activate the, uh, the boots to de-ice the airplane. Uh, you can see here we have our airspeed indicator, and this is a true airspeed indicator, so you can, with your outside air, air temperature gauge, you can uh, calculate your true airspeed. Our attitude indicator, and you can see we have a flight director with this system. We'll go over that when we talk about the autopilot. Just above and to the right, this is our altitude pre-selector and vertical speed select. Um, very nice feature. We can dial in 3,000 feet here. Um, I can arm that, and as I'm climbing out, if I engage the autopilot, I can also twist this to where, say, 600 feet a minute, engage, and now this autopilot system will climb 600 feet per minute and level us off at 3,000 feet. So very nice uh, feature, especially if you're doing... Um, a lot of IFR flying. Just below is our altimeter, our vertical speed indicator. In the middle of our six pack here we have our King KCS 55A Slade electric HSI system, our electric turn coordinator. To the left here we have a very nice uh, EDM JPI 700 engine monitor. This one has fuel flow as well and very nice to be able to look at all six cylinders and see just what's going on inside the cylinders with uh, cylinder head temperature, exhaust gas temperatures, um, our oil temperature, uh, what the battery is doing, our fuel flow, um, how many gallons are remaining, those type of things. Um, just below we have our second um, Garmin G106 indicator for our Garmin 430. In the middle here you can see we have our King DME, NAV1 and NAV2 switching with a uh, hold feature as well. And then on the bottom right, this is a WX1000 storm scope. Uh, very nice uh, complement to our XM weather that we'll talk about here in just a few minutes. So we'll move on to the engine instrumentation for 8245 Juliet. 
Uh, very nice in 1984, these were changed to more of the King Air style gauges. Um, quick glance just all the way down, manifold pressure, RPM, fuel flow, CHTs, and an analog EGT gauge, and then oil temperature and oil pressure. And what I really like about the system, if I'm flying at say 8,000 feet and I'm compressing 22 inches manifold, that needle is horizontal. My RPM's 23, 2400, again, horizontal needle. Fuel flow is going to be about 16, so not quite horizontal, but just right there. Our CHTs and EGTs will be horizontal, as well as our temps and our oil pressure. So if I'm flying along, and just a quick glance, if every needle is horizontal, then I know I've got a good engine, everything is going well. If um, something is off, then we can dive into it a little bit deeper. So, Okay, in the middle of our avionics stack here, a uh, very nice uh, stack of Garmin equipment. All of this has obviously been replaced at some point in time. The audio panel is a six-place Garmin GMA340. The number one Navcom GPS is our Garmin 530. Um, you can see here we can put our, our comms top left, our nav here. Um, this airplane has, uh, it is a wash unit, and you can see we have a couple different map pages here. Also have XM Weather. Now the subscription has been deactivated, but um, all you would have to do is activate that once you purchase the airplane. Uh, we have terrain on here as well. And then our Garmin 430 as our second Navcom GPS um, is also a wash unit, which is very nice, um, and also has the XM weather and terrain on it as well. So um, you know, as you're flying along, if there's weather, we could use the 430 smaller display for our map. We can go back up to our 530, our big display for our weather, and you don't have to switch back and forth. So I really like the way they've got this set up. Um, just below we have our KFC 150 autopilot that ties into our pre-selector that we were looking at uh, earlier. Very nice autopilot system. This will fly in heading and nav mode. Also has altitude hold. Um, again with the altitude pre-select makes it very nice. Approach mode this will fly uh, glide slope um, either on an ILS or a WAS uh, GPS unit all the way down uh, to minimums. So very nice um, three-axis autopilot now that we have the KFC 297 um, and the yaw dampener as well. Um, on the right hand side we have backup instrumentation. You can see we have a backup attitude indicator, altimeter, and directional gyro. Just below that we have our, our KT-79 transponder. And over on the far right you can see we have our instrument air pressure gauge and we also have, I'll turn this on quickly, a standby gyro pressure gauge as well, so a nice backup system for that. And just below, this has um, input for, for music. Um, you can also see on the right we have a, a single plug for our bows as well as the traditional plugs, and also a plug just above that for an outside antenna if you had a handheld communication and navigation radio. I'll take a moment and just talk about the control wheel here. Um, this is a post 84 A36, so we have dual controls. Um, on the back side here is our push to talk mic button. We also have our autopilot disconnect button here at the top and a control wheel steer button. Now this controls our flight director. This will let us temporarily override uh, things like heading or nav or uh, altitude hold. We have a nice electric pitch trim for this airplane up and down. You can see in the middle here we have a Beechcraft chronometer and we have a timer for instrument approaches. On the right hand side we also have a map light button that will activate the map below us here for night flying. A transponder ident button which is really nice. Everything here at your fingertips. And you can see we have a transfer for our COM1. So if you whatever you have in standby you just pull back and it will flip-flop uh, that communication radio.
Lots to love here with Bonanza 8245 Juliet. XM weather and music. You've got an autopilot. You've got dual flight controls. You've got instruments on the co-pilot side, co-pilot brakes. If you have someone who likes to fly, a significant other, another pilot, a passenger, a little bit of extra help up front with those dual controls. I love that. Of course, you've got an autopilot on board. You've got a storm scope. The annual is good through February of 2017. Lots to love here, folks. And the paint is just to die for. She's gorgeous in beautiful condition. We'd love for you to come to Piedmont Triad International Airport and see this beautiful, exceptional aircraft up close and personal. Now, you can check her out online on our website at carolinaaircraft.com. Feel free to give us a call for any questions or concerns, 336-665-0300. We would love to talk with you, but more than that, we would love to meet you in person. This airplane is gorgeous. You have to see her to appreciate her. So come meet us all in Greensboro. For Carolina Aircraft, I'm May Kay Thanks so much for watching.